Well, I was I was practically born in the gym, so uh, you know my dad was the head basketball coach uh, when I was born and a Division One uh, college coach, and so I just uh, naturally kind of you know was brought into the game, you know the day I was born, and uh, I fell in love with it, and I've had a great passion for it, you know, basically my whole life, and I played in high school and college, and uh, I started coaching as soon as I got out of college at 20, 21, and I've been coaching ever since, and, uh, you know, my uncle, you know, coaching at the NBA level, my dad coaching at the college level, I always had a great passion for the game, and uh, it was always something that... You know, I, I always have done since I was, you know, could, could walk and dribble the ball. <laughs> Everybody falls in love with, with something at some point in their, their life, whatever it is. And I think I fell in love with basketball, you know, when I was very young. And, you know, I have a brother and sister, and neither one of them played basketball. Um, but it just so happened that I was the one, uh, you know, that really gravitated towards the game and would follow my dad to practice and uh, you know and I just started playing at such a young age and I just really uh, fell in love with the sport. I played other sports also growing up, you know, baseball, soccer, things like that, but you know, there was nothing that, you know, I had a, such a great passion about other than basketball and that's where I continued to play and you know that's why I continue to coach because Every day you go to work, you know, you don't really feel like you're actually going to work. It's just something that you love doing. It's something that, you know, you will, you're always going to work hard at something that you really love doing. And I've always loved basketball, and that's what I've continued to try to do. Uh, well, I, I think, you know, you can have the biggest impact, you know, from the high school level on down. You know, kids are still learning how to play. Uh, you know, I think it's important for them to be grounded in the fundamentals. And I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, I want kids uh, to be able to continue and go on and play for as long a period of time as they can because the window is so is so small. And, you know, one of the reasons I started this uh, basketball program was to give kids an opportunity to learn how to play the right way and become grounded in the fundamentals so that, you know, they're able to go, in, go into high school prepared and have an opportunity to make their high school team. You know, not very many kids, you know, only about 3% of all high school players get to go on and play in college. And so most kids' careers are over at, at that point. A lot of kids don't even get to make their high school team. So I think it's important that every kid that loves to play the game uh, has the opportunity to learn and, uh, you know, get the experiences they need to give themselves the best opportunity to go on and play in high school. Well, I think the most important thing is to be grounded in the fundamentals of the game. And I think that uh, on both ends of the floor, I think, you know, the ability to handle the ball without making mistakes, uh, to understand the importance, um, you know, and the, and the fundamentals of defense. We play all man-to-man -man defense, no zone. Uh, you know, once the kids get into high school, if their high school coaches would, you know, implement zone defenses, those kids are going to be better, you know, because all zones are based on man-to-man -man principles. But my biggest thing is I want the kids, you know, from a fundamental standpoint and an understanding standpoint to, you know, be as sound as they possibly can be. I want them to be able to uh, understand how to play the game the right way, and I want them to be able to physically play the game the right way. And, you know, there's a lot of kids that have a lot of physical ability but not a lot of skill level. And there's a lot of kids that don't have a lot of physical ability that it's extremely important that if they don't, that they're, you know, they have no weaknesses in their skill level or their fundamentals. And so that was, that's my biggest thing is, you know, uh, get them to become grounded in the fundamentals, get them to understand how to play the right way. And then, you know, they'll give, give them the best opportunity to go on and play when they get to the high school level.